Hello viewers. Welcome to Recaps Now. Today we will explain the story of the Hollywood thriller movie Bird Box. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In the introductory scene, we see that a woman is talking to his children. It seemed that her children were scared of something. The house in which they live is shown to be covered from all around. All windows, doors or any empty space were covered. As a result, no sound or living soul could enter it. The woman in the scene was called Mallory. We see that, she warns her children from looking outside the house. She informs them that I am going to cover your eyes so that you do not see the outside world. After that, she blindfolds her children and herself. We then see that she collects a small cage that contained birds. She carried the birds with her as the birds had the unique power to locate the thing from which they were running away. We then see that, she had tied a rope around the house. With help of which, she comes near to a fountain or stream. We then see that she had already tied a boat near the stream. All three of them board the boat and start sailing with closed eyes. Mallory is seen riding the boat along with the flow of the water current. The scene then shifts, and we see an incident from five years ago. We are shown that, Mallory was an artist, who was pregnant with her child back then. As a result, she mostly stayed home. In the meantime, one day when she is painting, her friend arrives and tells her to turn on the news. The news presenter is reading a news about a virus that compels people to commit suicide. Mallory understands that the virus was indeed dangerous and had harmed a lot of people. But she ignores the fact and goes to the hospital for a checkup. Here the doctor informs her that her baby was perfectly alright and was about to be born any day now. When she comes out, she observes that a lady was banging her head against the glass, as if she was trying to kill herself. This scares Mallory and she rushes outside and sits in the car where her friend was waiting for her. She observes that the virus was infecting her own country as well, and people were taking their own life. The victims were seen committing suicide in various manners. While traveling to the house, Mallory and her friend notice something odd. We see that. Once Mallory's friends see that, the color of her eyes changes and her face became pale. She gets scared and worried about something. As a result, she was seen driving at a level way above the speed limit and thus the car meets an accident. After this, we see Mallory's friend emerge from the car and tries committing suicide by coming in front of it and succeeds. This incident depresses Mallory a lot. She could not believe that her best friend had died so tragically in front of her eyes. We then see that a lady sees Mallory and offers to help her. But then we see that the color of her eyes were also changing. She then sits inside a burning car and dies. Then we see a boy named Tom comes and helps Mallory and takes her inside the house. There were other people in the house as well. Tom asks them to close all the doors and windows and cover their eyes so that they do not see the outer world. Now we see another woman, who is also pregnant. She also seemed sad. The movie then shifts to the present time. When a day had passed since Mallory had left her house. We see she had some food and other necessities with her. We see that Mallory used to cover her face whenever she was doing anything. She talked to her kids in a gentle manner when she did not have the blindfold. Here we see she hears a man's voice. The man did not have any blindfold. We see Mallory pointing a gun at him. The man seemed weird. That guy compels them to untie the blindfold and Mallory feels something was wrong. We then see Mallory shoots in the direction of the man. When Mallory does not listen to the man he comes to her boat and unties the blindfold. But Mallory instantly stabs him to death. Then the three of them procs again. The scene then shifts to the past. We see a scene from the house and we also see that it had been a week since Mallory came to the place. As there were a number of people present there, and the food supplies were diminishing, all of them felt worried about how they would survive. They now wanted to get some food by any means, but they could not step out as their eyes were blindfolded. The owner of the house informs them the house was under CCTV supervision, and if they use those then nothing will happen. Everyone agrees to this idea. The house owner himself volunteers to start the experiment. He asks the others to tie him to a chair and leave. Everyone complies to this and leaves him alone. The owner starts to observe the CCTV footage. At first he does not notice anything, but after a while he sees something and his facial expression changes. This meant that he had seen something and he falls to the ground and commits suicide. Now, the rest of the group also understood that no matter how they saw the thing it would eventually harm them. But it was also imperative to get some food supplies for which they needed to go to the grocery store. In the next scene we see that they get inside a car and cover the rear camera with black ink using a marker. As a result, they could not see or hear anything and depended on GPS system. All of them had blindfolds but the problem was, they had to untie the folds to get things from the grocery shop or they had to find a way otherwise. 
the group somehow managed to collect considerable amount of food supplies that would last for some time. The group then returns home. Here we see a boy and a girl who wanted to get food for themselves. Then we see that those two leave for the store while others wait. Now we see that both Mallory and the other pregnant lady were about to give birth soon. We see that a man was knocking at the door and asking to be let and he was shouting help. Everyone in the house wanted to help the man except an old man who thought that the man might be infected and doubted him. Everyone conducts a thorough search of the man once he comes in. He explains to them that he was also living in a house until some people captured it. He further informs that those people were mentally unstable, and if they see the mysterious creature it will not affect them as they were unstable. So, they wanted us to untie the blindfold. He also says that everyone in his old house believed the group, which cost them their lives. The man also informs how he somehow managed to escape alive. Everyone else felt sorry for the man. Then we see that both Mallory and the other lady fall sick and everyone takes them upstairs as they were both soon to be mums. While the newly arrived man waits downstairs, we see that he was acting in a strange manner and had strange sketches in front of him. We then find that he himself was a mental patient. As everyone was busy upstairs, we see that man seizes the opportunity, opens all the doors and windows of the house and then joins the rest of the group upstairs. Here we see that Mallory had given birth to a baby boy and the other lady had given birth to a baby girl. Here we also see that the madman opens the windows of the room where the two new moms were. The rest of the group could not believe what had just happened. Seeing this, an old lady advances towards that man and tries to stop him. But the evil man forces her to see the view outside and as a result, she also commits suicide. On the other side we see the lady who had given birth to a girl also jumps from the windows and dies. Then we see that the madman advances towards Mallory to kill her, but she is saved in the nick of time by Tom. Then the scene shifts and we see that only Tom, Mallory and the two kids were in the house, because Tom had killed the madman by bullets. Then we see that Tom and Mallory care for the kids as parents. Now, we see that they were living with great caution and they had taught the children how to live with blindfolds. We see how the four of them used ropes to find their ways to the house when they went out. We then see that a few mentally ill people still wanted to kill them, but the group of four were able to escape the predators tactfully. We also see that they used the same rope trick to get food from the neighborhood. Five years pass like this. One day they hear a madman and escape him. After this, they hear a voice on the radio, who claims to be there and offers them food and help. That stranger gives them an address which Tom finds out and says they needed a boat to reach there. They construct a boat for this purpose. Mallory tells Tom that it might be a trap. Then we see that both of them need food and medicine so they go outside. On their way they face some mental people who stop and attack them. Tom fights them and advises Mallory to stay inside and to take the kids to a safe place if he does not return so on. We then see a heroic fight between Tom and the group of madmen which Tom somehow survives. But in the process, he catches a glimpse of the unknown creature and commits suicide. Then we see the opening scene again. Then we are shown how they had been traveling and that they had run out of food supplies. After this we see a huge storm occurs and the boat capsizes. Mallory then uses the voices of the children to save them. After this they arrive at a forest. The group is seen following the sounds of the birds. Just then, Mallory starts to hear the strange voices. She runs away from there and falls down in the process and losses her kids. But then we see she somehow reconnects with the kids and started walking again. We then see that Mallory and the kids somehow reached a blind school and the kids were very happy to see kids like them and a host of normal people who were blind. Then we see that Mallory and the kids started living a life in the blind school. Thus the movie ends. Thanks for watching.